Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nungy. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Alan Hale Jr. Alan Hale Jr. of course played Skipper on Gilligan's Island, the lovable duo that we love from the show. I'm going to go into details about him and his crazy audition process. You're not going to believe this. I've read so many stories about Hollywood stars and their audition stories. This one takes the cake. This one is probably the craziest you will ever hear. If you know of a crazy you were one let me know in the comments down below if you don't know i am so close to 100,000 subscribers and you can benefit from that by receiving really cool dvds and items from your favorite shows there's a link in the description of this video that shows you how you can win free of charge now let's begin by talking about alan hill jr and how they were really having a difficult time trying to find an actor to play the character and they happen to come upon after many, many tries and failing to Alan Hale Jr. However, there was one problem. Gilligan's Island was filmed at CBA Center Studios in the Los Angeles, kind of North Hollywood area, the Valley, other people call it. However, at the time when they really needed him to be there, he was in Utah filming a Western. He was well known to film many, many Westerns, but they said, we have to have him here. We want him in the same room with Bob Denver, who played, of course, Gilligan on Gilligan's Island. We want to see the chemistry between these two to see if this would work, because if the chemistry wasn't right between these two, the show would not work. And that's what Sherwood Schwartz say and actually i agree with him if the chemistry between these two was just off then it wouldn't work for the show and the chemistry was perfect between them now it wasn't that he was just in utah he was in the middle of a gorge basically in the middle of a desert with a skeleton film crew filming different scenes and so forth and so he had to make it out to california as soon as possible he left at five in the morning for saint george utah now, to give you an idea of how remote he was out in the desert, there was a six-day shoot for that week, and it was on location. And as I mentioned, it was down in that gorge. The only way to reach it was on horses, and the equipment had to go down on mules. It was pretty treacherous if you think about it. Alan decided that he was going to make the audition because he absolutely loved the script after reading it. He knew that the only way that he can get the part was to go to Hollywood on Sunday. That was his deadline. So he took immediate action, as I mentioned. He asked one of his buddies, his name was Skip Homier, and he was another actor, and he rode with him out of the gorge and up onto the highway. Now, I know many of you will not believe this, but this is absolutely true. It was verified by many credible sources. His friend Skip actually stayed there with Alan's horse, in his horse until Alan returned back from Hollywood. How long did he actually wait there? Well, he was there for six hours waiting for his friend Alan Hale Jr. Now that's a real friendship, guys and gals. Who amongst you would do that? I don't know if I would do that. I would like to think that I would, but that is definitely dedication. Now during those six hours, Alan hitchhiked a ride on a truck from St. George, Utah to Las Vegas, Nevada. Then he flew from Las Vegas to Los Angeles and took a cab to the studio. Now, Bob Denver and producers were waiting for him at CBS and the facilities were all available for him. After a few rehearsals, Bob and Alan did the scene that had proven disastrous for any other man who tried to play the part of Skipper. Anybody who's ever seen an episode, as I mentioned, of Gilligan's Island knows about this magic that I discussed earlier. And when they saw it, it was evident that they had this magic. It was a perfect fit. And so they essentially cast him right on the spot after that long, treacherous, and many ways of transporting himself there. He took many ways of transportation. He took horse, taxi cab, he hitchhiked, he took a plane. Very crazy to think about this story. Now, of course, only half of the trip was over because he did pretty well on the test. However, he flew back to Las Vegas, hitchhiked back to St. George, met his friend and his horse that were waiting there for him, and both men rejoined the film company down in the gorge pretty much immediately. Wow, I can't believe the dedication that his friend had, as well as Alan Hill Jr. to just get back right on after traveling that whole time and getting back to work. I mean, I know and I hear about a lot of people talking about Hollywood stars and how they're spoiled and rich, and yes, I definitely agree. 
to some respect. But I also think, look at the dedication of this man to get a part. Yes, it was his work, his job, but think about he could have easily said, you know what, this is too hard. I'm already filming something. I have to travel, do all these methods. No, he really wanted this part. It paid off for him, and it made the part that essentially we remember. You know, when he was getting older in his life, everyone remembered him as the skipper. He even wore his hat and pretty much that blue outfit everywhere he went. So it was really, really cool to see his work pay off. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. What do you think about this story? What was your favorite part? I'd love to hear comments down below. We'll see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy videos just like this. And most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my Diamond Tier patrons, Citizen Kane 359 Paul T, Ricky, Gary N, David D, Sally N, Yasmin G, and Lori K. If you want to be part of the Patreon family, don't forget to take a look at the description with many exclusives that you can enjoy.